Hey there, welcome back to our discussion on circles. In the previous video, we saw what circles are and what are the different terminologies and different concepts associated with circles. Here, we'll talk about the number of tangents to a circle from a given point. Now, let's say we have our circle with the center at point O. And we have to understand how many tangents are possible from a point outside, inside or on the circle. So basically, there can be three cases. If a point is inside the circle, let's say that's case one when the point is inside. And let's look at how many tangents are possible in that case. So let's say if we have a point, point P somewhere here, do you think there's a possibility of a tangent? Let's see. Let me just draw a line passing through this point P. So let's say if this is the line and this passes through point P. So we see that it cuts the circle in two distinct points and is not a tangent. Let me draw another line. Say this. This also cuts the circle in two distinct points and not a tangent. So if you draw any line passing through this point, point P, you'll see that it cuts the circle in two points and is a secant. So when the point is inside the circle, we will have no tangents possible. Let's move on to case two. Case two is when the point is just on the circle. Let's see what happens then. So this is our circle again with center at point O. And this time we have a point, point P, right on the circle. So if we have a point P right on the circle, we discussed last time as well that there's a possibility of just one line that is tangent to this circle passing through this point. Now this one is a tangent. Let me draw another line. So we see that it's a secant. It cuts the circle in two points. And even this line would cut the circle in two points. So there's only a possibility of one tangent when the point is on the circle. So one. Now let's look at the third case, case three, when the point is outside the circle. Now this one is an interesting one. So if this is our circle again with the center at point O and we have a point outside, that is point P is outside. Now we have to draw a line that is tangent to this particular circle. So a line like this, which touches the circle in just one point would be a tangent. Correct? Now, can we draw another line? Let's see. So if this line, now uh, I know it's a curved line, but let's assume it's a straight line which passes through this point P and is tangent to this particular circle. Can we draw a third line which is a tangent? No, we cannot. The rest would either be a secant or would just pass by the circle and won't touch the circle at any other point. So we can only draw two tangents when the point in consideration is outside the circle. Now let's consider a theorem which takes into consideration a point which is outside the circle and the two tangents that are formed by it. So this is theorem 10.2 in the NCRT book. And it states that the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. That means if we have this circle with a center at point O and PQ and PR are two lines which are tangents to this circle at points Q and R respectively, then according to the theorem, we have the length of PQ is equal to the length of PR. Now let's see if we can prove this theorem. Now if we have a figure like this, 
let me just draw the radii OR and OQ and I will just join OP as well. So here, now from the first theorem, we remember that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of tangency. Correct. So that means angle ORP is equal to 90 degrees. That is this angle is 90 degrees and similarly angle OQP will be 90 degrees because this is the radius OQ and PQ is the tangent. So angle OQP is also 90 degrees. Now to prove this theorem, let me just consider these two right angle triangles. So in right angle triangles, triangle ORP and triangle OQP. We have angle R equal to angle Q which is 90 degrees. We also know that OQ and OR are equal because they are the radii and finally we also have OP as the common side. So OP is equal to OP. So by the RHS congruency criterion, we would have these two triangles ORP and OQP as congruent. So triangle ORP is congruent to triangle OQP. And since we have these two triangles as congruent, we can easily say that RP is equal to QP because these are the corresponding parts of two congruent triangles or CPCT. So we have proved that RP is equal to QP. Now if we look carefully, there are other angles which are equal as well because of CPCT. Let's look at which angles are those. So this angle, angle OPR is equal to this angle, angle QPO. So we have angle OPR is equal to angle OPQ. And we can say that OP is the angle bisector of which angle? Angle QPR. So the line that joins the center to an external point bisects the angle that is formed by the two tangents. That is the bigger angle, this one. So this bigger angle, angle QPR formed by two tangents from an external point is bisected by the line joining the center and that external point. Now this is an important property to remember and comes in very handy in some cases. Now we could have also proved this theorem that is PQ equal to PR by using the Pythagoras theorem. Now we know that these two triangles are right triangles and we can easily apply the Pythagoras theorem there. How do we do that? Let's see. In the first triangle, triangle ORP, this one, we have the hypotenuse square that is OP square equal to OR square plus RP square. Similarly, from the other triangle, we would have OP square equal to OQ square plus QP square. This is from triangle OQP. And this one was from triangle ORP. Now since the left hand sides of both the equations are equal, we can equate the right hand sides as well. That means OR square plus RP square is equal to OQ square plus QP square. And we also know that OR is equal to OQ because they are the radii of this particular circle. So we can cancel these out and we are left with RP square equal to QP square or RP equal to QP. And it's proved again. We look at more such interesting examples and other theorems or even properties in the next coming videos. So keep watching. Bye.